Serge here from a driving range in Germany. Today I want to talk about one of the major things I still see with a lot of golfers and that is as relates to the peak performance golf swing we describe this peak performance golf swing as a limited turn backswing and a lot of lift. A little bit of turn and a lot of lift. So I want to define the, the, the limitations of the turn. In normal cases if you turn, we turn standing here just to the toe line so the catcher's mid is out here. If this is my aiming line, the catcher's mid's right back here. I turn to the catcher's mid and I keep turning to the toe line. Once I reach the toe line, there is no more turn. After that, it's all lift with both elbows lifting together. If the right elbow, if the if somebody's trying to lift the left arm, but the right arm really isn't going up, you see what's happening to my equilateral triangle? It's tilting. The right elbow is closer to the ground than the left elbow. They have to lift together to get the club up to the three-quarter swing. Now here's the big thing to determine that you're making the right amount of turn. When you go in the mitt and up the tree, I always say you turn only to the toe line and everything goes straight up. I call, I'm gonna step to here now, I call everything behind the toe line on both sides of me, I call that the sacred burial ground. The rule is you can stand in it, but if you swing your arms and club into it, you're dead, whether it be the backswing or the forward swing. So we want to swing in the backswing straight up and in the forward swing straight up. But here's the key. Because we swing on an inclined plane, I'll just move this over to here now, get back in the center. Because we swing on an inclined plane, once we turn to the toe line, as I said earlier, there's no more turn. It's all lift. But you're going to notice, because of the inclined plane, which runs a line from my shoulders to the, to the ball, which is what I call like a waggle wheel laid over your shoulders, the, the arm, the, the back, the top of the right, the left arm and the back swing will run up, but the club goes through the, goes through the, the plane of the circle of the wagon wheel. That's why it stays vertical, but the hand should be on it. But as if you notice here, because we've turned, the only part of the hand and the arm that's on the plane and on the toe line is the elbow to the shoulder. That stays on the line. The, el the elbow down to the hand has to be a little bit inside as much as should be no farther than about the ankle, which will put the shaft no farther. That's one of the guidelines I check. I draw a line from the butt of the club to the ground, and if it's no farther than the ankle, normally for everybody, that's, about a, that's a really good position, meaning you're, you're definitely still over the toe line. So let me explain that again. When you come back and you're dead over the toe line, the left arm, is only the elbow to the shoulder is on the line. It'll be in, the elbow to the hand will be inside, and it'll be the same thing when I swing through, coming up through here and recoil and relax. See at the top, the right arm is in there. See how my left arm, uh, my right arm from the elbow to the hand to get the club over my shoulder is, is slightly inside of me. And again, it's right over my shoulder. When I come back, then they're both over the, uh, over the toe line. That's the way to check that you're, that you're making a correct turn. But what I'm seeing so much of is I'm seeing almost at least half the more of the left arm and more of the right arm inside the toe line. And that means you're turning too much in the back swing and are turning too much in the forward swing or turning too much both ways. And that's going to start causing directional problems, contact problems, which will cause directional problems, and then start creating all that tension and stuff you came to PPGS to get rid of. And that's because you're viol that would be violating one of the major tenets of the, ten of the peak performance golf swing, which says it's a three-quarter limited turn swing. Three-quarter limited turn, about 70 degrees turn of the torso the most. All right? Check those points out. And if, you're, if you got them down, great. If you're getting a little too wide, find those new positions, and you'll find out you'll be hitting it more solid straight and shooting those lower scores. That's it for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.